Just bend your mind a little, but don't go over the top. Just take it in and let it flow until you start to bo it gets, it releases expressions from out of my mind that frustrate me and, uh, and I think a lot of people should really write the thoughts down because you, you can look back at it and think hmm, whatever would I think in that or you think no, that's a good point and uh, it's just all part of inspiration some people can do it some people can't, people have different ways of releasing their uh, pent up emotions or aggressions but I always have this had a dream, in the sense of the word, um, I'd have to put forward my views at some point in my life, and uh, this is it, you know, the, the views are going to put forward, and uh, we'll take it from there. This has been my local for the last uh, 30 odd years. Oh, no. that means traveling in and out. Like sometimes I've stayed away for a few years and come back. And then. But this is one of the most amazing pubs on planet Earth. Well, to me, this has just been a buzzy pub. And it, it, it's just. I don't know, it just flows, it's got a flow with it. Even though it has got its gossip attitude, it has got a flow between. I don't know, it's just got. I can't have a, I can't, I've got a word for it really, just I love it. And it loves me, and I love it. And that's what it's all about. What helped to inspire some other poems was a, a friend of mine who was staying with me. I had my house, it looked split from his girlfriend. And I put it up, and I was in the cellar making a window. And he was jamming away upstairs, and all of a sudden these lyrics started flowing out there. Oh wow! Well, write these down. Piece of wood, you know. And uh, he sort of helped inspire certain amounts of that writing. And then the rest came by through just sitting at home one night, things flowing out of me, either stoned or a bit drunk or more. The only way I was stoned, I was too drunk, I didn't really write much. <laughs> just the odd time. The reason I got locked in prison because I was growing dope and supplying it, and uh, which was not my intention originally. It's just that some of my friends who were around me said, hey, come on, make some out of it, man. You know, we did sell some of it. My main intention was for his own consumption, because we're all basically just a bunch of smokeheads. And uh, I, read, I found out through the grapevine that uh, some of the, uh, the cannabis was being brought in by tourist groups and just there was people like that and I thought well I'm not going to smoke cannabis that's been dealt with by guns and gangsters and stuff so I thought why not grow my own so I did <laughs> it was very nice and very strong I had some enjoyable time smoking it it was just unfortunate they got busted got a nice experience being inside because obviously you're locked, you banged away. Freedoms are out the window, you can't go for a pint. You can't sort of see your girlfriend. You know. Plus you're surrounded by people who are not in your, in your you know, you, you're not a criminal. I, I didn't think I was a criminal. I committed a criminal offence according to the society's rules. But I haven't hurt anybody. And, uh, but I was in prison with people who, you know, were criminals. And I couldn't relate to a lot of them because I couldn't talk about crime or this, that, or on their level because I didn't want to, for one thing. And uh, I had ex 
experience, isn't it? And it was inspirational from the point of view that when you've nothing else to do, we'll think. Um, inspiration will just come out at a certain levels. Sometimes not even experienced people whose heads just went yeah. gone. And uh, that's not a very nice experience. But a lot of the poetry came from being in prison. On that level, that was the upside. <laughs> <laughs> but the downside, no, no, it's not very nice place. The eight months that I did felt like eight years. <laughs> The bombs, the bullets, the crack, hitch and coke. Come on now, people, this ain't no joke. Science has gone down all the wrong tracks, giving us all big heart attacks. OK, so it's an achievement to float in space, but do it here on Earth if your head's in the right space. Well, what, what I do for a living at the moment is to help me, uh, the girlfriend. We're Swedes, we clean houses, private houses. We do the sound bar. That's quite a, a good buzz once a fortnight. Eh? Because I like the atmosphere in there. And uh, it's, a bit, it's hard work mopping up their floor, like, but I uh, enjoy it. It's a job. And uh, it's something I never thought I'd be doing, and you're right, pleasing. I would say, though, at this moment in time, yeah, I'm very happy with uh, your life. But I want to also move on, and uh, I like to uh, and eat us all in a place with a garden. So I'd like to get a house somewhere we both want us to live, and uh, that's the next stage of the game. And plus, as I say, we see the t-shirts, we poems, become successful, which will give us a, a comfortable life, but also to help things like the, the candle lighters or, or try and put my money, depending on how much money I make, into things that are going to do things some good or at least help. Help, that's the main thing. This is my book that uh, I produced, or I've produced, written most of the uh, poetry over the last 20 years. A poetry book is uh, hopefully going to give you all a good journey. Every time I yearn for a drink, I know I must not succumb, because all it's done is land me time and time on me bum. The same with fags I used to smoke quite a few a day. I have to realise these things are costing me no end, <laughs> like bumps, walls, fines and things were driving me round the bend. So here I sit in HM Nick doing time for these, might lose me house and business when will I seat Woodford trees? Here I sit, head in book, wondering should I give a fuck? If I want a drink or smoke, have a laugh, have a joke. What the hell? Burn it I once. We're looking forward to uh, seeing things take off with me, uh, me theme, because then, as I say, I want things to develop from there. So a positive buzz comes from it all at the end of the day, for myself and for people who become involved or enveloped in whatever I'm doing. And uh, I'll die quite happy. Don't buy dig what we all My generation. My generation, baby. Don't fix my guy. Oh, I'm good. Stop. <laughs> Talking about our generation. I like it that way. Our generation. We'll be dead soon anyway. Our generation. How do you wrap this one out? <laughs> And the, uh, uh, this is due to old age and loads of smoke. But never mind. We're living and we're alive. I'm bouncing. <laughs>